Hello everyone and welcome back to an edition of Dime Box Discoveries. I'm going to do something I don't, don't normally do and that's show off something from a trade I got. Reason being is these two rows are from a show. These two rows are from a trade. This row is something interesting, we'll talk about that later, but I want to show it off because the stuff I got from the show wasn't, in my mind, exciting enough to do a video of it by itself because there's not a lot. But when this trade came in from this, uh, uh, from Brent, the very, very first sub subscriber I ever had in this channel, it was fantastic. So I thought if I put them both together, I might have an entertaining video. So let's show what I found at the show. Let's start right here. These were 15 for a dollar. So, you know, 6.6 .6 cents a piece, something like that. 6.7 cents a piece if you're intrigued by the math. So here we go. Let's start off with the 15 for a dollar. This is that Topps UK edition. Um, no one too special, but like I said, UK edition. Uh, sometimes people go looking for those. Uh, big League. These are always, I always find these neat. And these are like this orange variations that Granky, Yuli Guriel there. Um, there's a Juan Soto and another Juan Soto. Um, yeah, I don't even know exactly who that is, but it's a special um, version, uh, you know, green and yellow version. Plus it looks cool. Ooh. Um, here we go, 1985 Tops, Kent Colby from Catholic High School in Hamilton, Ohio. Buddy Bell from Moeller High School in Cincinnati, Ohio. Craig Kimbrell, who just got his 4 save at the time of this video. Here is the 150th anniversary, 150 years uh, version of that. Catfish Hunter and one of those. Uh, perennial All-Stars Johnny Bench, that's cool. And then a couple more of the A's team sets, if you know I'm working on those. So I picked them up for cheap enough. I don't even know if I had them, but for seven cents a piece, if I do, that's fine. If I don't, that's great too. Um, these were a dime a piece, actual dime box stuff. Very little actual dime box stuff here. Uh, Reggie Jackson, the threads, Tony Perez and the threads. They just look cool. I, I think they look cool. So there's an Ernie Banks out of Donruss. Um, there's a score in it. It's Ty Cobb, I believe. Yep. And then Zach Cozart with some shiny chrome there. It's a refractor. So with a lot of Cincinnati fans in the area, that one might be good. And this is just cool. I've never seen it before. VFW from Heritage. So... Uh, yep, so there you go. That's just really cool. I just thought that was neat. I, that was cool they put in there. This was a quarter on its own here. It's a barrel look. And I love this 1987 Tops design. 87 Tops is one of my favorite because that was the very first I ever collected. As it seems to be half of the collecting hobby. Um, but this looks great. Larkin, that red uniform was fantastic with the all-star colors. And then with the wood grain. So looks really, really good. So good on that. Now. These were a quarter piece. These are almost all, I mean, they're all 72 tops, all of them. Um, but most of them, not that one, obviously, most of them are these, find a normal one there, 571, are this called mid high. I think it's series five. They're not like the really impossible to find high set numbers, but still, it's good. These are all going to go for a trade to the guy who sent me these over here in the future. So I think there were 30. These are quarter piece. So I see Sid O'Brien. There's some Braves rookies. Um, no one to really have known on there, but Danny Thompson, Ellie Hendricks, Larry Boa. That's pretty cool. Ellen Foster, Jim Hickman. There's Ollie Brown, Wilbur Wood, John Odom. Look at, oh, it's badly cut. Look at that. Check that out. And Leo Cardenas and Reggie Smith all in action. So those are cool. Nate Colbert, George Scott, Paul Casanova, Lou Krause, Rich Morales, Jim Magnuson, Frank Duffy. So he's working on the 72 set. And I'm going to send a bunch in a trade for some custom work. And because uh, I know I've got his list and these are the ones that he needs. So Spaceman Bill Lee. That's pretty cool. And I don't know why. I, I put these in order when I bought them. So I don't know why I have two Jim Maloney's. I really screwed up, but whatever. Um, so those are all going to go to him. I think there are like 30 of them, like I said. So those will all be going in a trade to uh, one person. In that same quarter bin, it's like beating up vintage is what he had. But... The Ostrensky, man, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. That that crease there is actually on the on the plastic sleeve and on the card. So for a quarter, I was actually pretty pleased. The Burt Bly Levin is in nice shape, except for that corner at the bottom. I think it's in really nice shape. Jim Perry, a little bit soft corner, but not bad for a uh, 69. There's a bench. And then... Manny Jimenez, I need for the A's team set. And Jim Archer, I need for the team set as well. 
So unfortunately, like I said, these are in really bad shape, hence a quarter. There's some writing on them and other things, but it'll be a place where I can find a better one. Also in that quarter bin, these are really cool. Going back with some really old school stuff, unfortunately some writing on it, but still for a quarter, it's cool. Bob Grimmer had a fantastic rookie here, and this is actually his rookie card, it's really cool. And then this one is really cool too, to me. Um, Herman here, he is from Western Hills High School on the west side of Cincinnati. So, you know, I collect all my, see, home, Cincinnati, Ohio. I collect all the guys who, you know, played high school ball in Cincinnati. You never come across his cards, at least not for a decent price. So for a quarter, that was a great, great pickup. Now, into the stuff that Brent sent me. Like I said, Brent was the very first subscriber I ever had on this channel. I had like eight videos before I even had one subscriber. And then Brent popped up out of nowhere and started commenting on it. So I was like, okay. So I started sending him stuff because he told me what he needed. And we don't really trade. I hate to call him trade. So I send stuff, he sends me stuff. I send stuff, he sends me stuff. And we don't really, like, it's not going to be like, oh, this card for that card. We just send a stack of stuff to each other and, you know, for what we think we need, which is awesome. So I'll show you what he sent me. And, man, crushed it. Knocked out of the park. If you see my videos, you're going to see how happy I am with these. So a bunch of Maguires. I think I need three or four of these. Um, in my collection and then a bunch of other ones that make nice doubles for some trade bait so the png are really cool procter and gamble obviously a cincinnati company largest consumer goods company in the world headquartered in cincinnati Ohio. so that, that's really cool um so some more mcguires more mcguires more mcguires and then one because you saw that i have a friend who collects universe cincinnati guys there's a steve logan card with a die cut that's really cool um, thank you, Brent. I'll send it off to my friend who'll really enjoy that. Actually, I saw the friend yesterday. I should have given it to him yesterday. Oh, well, but then we had it for the video. Now, you know I get hyped about my starting lineups. I do. I get hyped about them. And Brent sent me a whole bunch of them. Check this out. Kevin Seitzer. Bernie Kozar, man. These are like, like late 80s stuff. This is beautiful. And for Dixon and David Justice, even a Cincinnati guy in a starting lineup. Oh, this is a thing of beauty. And also... Also, you know, there's three things I get, I get really pumped about starting lineups. The second thing is Sports Illustrated for kids, and that's a Wayne Gretzky. Oh, man. I mean, it's got a little bit of paper loss up there, but I, I don't care. That's beautiful. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. Brent, you crushed it, man. You're crushing it. You know, I love my food stuff thing, and I talked about picking up some of these quarterback cards from Tombstone from a dime box a couple months ago, and Brent added to that set, and I, I'm chasing it now for sure now. I have to. He sent me down that course, Namath Unitas. There's a Hostess, Jose Canseco, and a Post Barry Larkin. So I dig those. Um, now, the other thing I talk about all the time that I like, I'm going to come back to this in a second, are box bottoms. You know I love my box bottoms. Check this out. 86 tops box bottom. George Brett, beautifully cut too. Then a couple of 88s, Howard Johnson, Daryl Strawberry. Oh, man, just awesome. Really moved me towards completing those sets. Now, Brent, my guy, he um, collects Bowling Green Falcons, BGSU, because he went to Bowling Green. I collect Miami guys, the Miami Red Hawks, formerly the Miami Redskins, because I went to Miami. So we're both Mac guys. So we swap out Mac guys uh, for each other. So he sent me a whole bunch of Ron Harpers, because Ron Harper was the man at Miami uh, before Wally Zerbiak. And this one I love because it even comes with his Miami stats. Look at the point totals, man. Dude was dropping some serious points. Harper's one of those severely underrated guys in the NBA. If you know, you know, man. So here's a bunch of Harpers. And then some Johnny Stocktons. i got to check and see if any of those in the collection because I collect John Stockton, so that is really cool as well. Also, if you know me, you see my videos, I collect Team USA stuff, guys in the jerseys anyway, and the team cards are always some of my most favorite, and then check it out. Also, though, Derek Coleman, what's up with that look? This will give you nightmares. Nightmares. Um, Women Tisdale, Vern Fleming, Sam Perkins. So really cool stuff. Uh, and then Team USA baseball guys, always really cool. Um, so, yeah, that's some really cool stuff. So great, great stack of cards sent from Brent. Thank you, man. Now, over here, I'm going to get a little hyped, get a little excited. So I'm going to come back to this because this is like the coolest thing that I've gotten in God knows how long. The guy who is getting all these plus more is going to make some more customs for me, I believe. So the guy makes custom cards. He did the Pete Rose one. If you ever know, there's an Andy Warhol painting that hangs up in the Cincinnati Art Museum. Oddly enough, I was just there like a week before he sent me these. I didn't know these were coming because I did the trade for these. So he sent me these customs, which are beautiful because they're just like, I'm not a huge Pete Rose fan, but I love that artwork in the Cincinnati Museum of Art. I stop by and see it every time I'm in there. And this one, check it out. You know I collect all my tops All-Star Rookie cards. So he made me a 
one of one of this. How awesome is that? Seriously, it's awesome. And then this, this. You're going, I don't remember Charles Johnson card from that. I remember a Danny Ainge card from that because they don't exist. And that's the point. You see, I've collected, as you know before, every single Topps All-Star Rookie team player from 1960, the very first one, up until now. I have every single one except these two because for some reason, Topps either just, I guess it chose not to make one of Danny Ainge in that year, and Charles Johnson hadn't signed a deal with Topps to make one for him. So these two cards do not exist. I had these two, I had two holes in my collection, two holes in my collection of the Topps All-Star Trophy rookie team cards. I didn't know what to do. And then I found this guy and he made me the customs and these things are beautiful. Don't they look fantastic? Look how great they're. He even made backs on them and did write-ups and everything. Ah, so now I have the most complete collection of Topps All-Star Trophy rookie cards in the entire known universe because nobody else has these. I and I alone have the greatest collection of all time. Oh, there's one thing. So unless he gave some to somebody else, I don't know. Anyway, that's what I got. This stuff, these two rows from the show, these two from a trade, great stuff. This stuff from it, I sent him a bunch of stuff for this trade for this. He's going to get some more of these to work on 72 sets for some more custom work. Anyway, I hope you're all having a great day. Hope you're enjoying the hobby. Help each other out. Get people to, you know, give them stuff that they can finish up and clean up those sets and get those completed. There's nothing better than helping somebody get to that finish line. Anyway, have a great day, everyone. Enjoy the hobby.